Hi, and welcome to the Infographics Master Pack customization tutorial overview part two. Uh, there's a few things I didn't cover in the first overview uh, that I would like to right now. So um, the first thing I want to do is show you how to change your logo in our intro scene. And to do that, we're going to go to our scenes folder in our project panel, go to the intro scene folder and double click on the intro scene comp. You'll see our timeline with all our layers. Uh, you can double click on the intro scene text or a logo uh, composition and you can change your text if you'd like to um, enter a text uh, instead of a logo here or if you have a logo image you want to go to file and it's a little bit cut off here file import and then choose your logo hit open and you all you do is just drag and drop your logo into the composition timeline um, hit S on your keyboard to bring up the scale parameters you can uh, if you need to scale that down. Let's move that. And uh, if you don't want, don't want those text layers but you want to just keep them just in case you want to change that later, you can just turn those off. If we go back to our intro scene, you'll see our logo is in there and it probably needs to be a little bit smaller than that. It depends on your preferences. There we go. So there's your logo and to change the text, uh, just double click on the text layer here and then you can type your text. Uh, let's go back to our render comp and let's move on to the main title scene. If you double click on that comp, you can open that up and you want to double click on the main title scene text composition. And that can also be found in the project panel, um, in the scenes folder, go to main title scene and then double click on main title scene text. As you can see our text layer here, you can double click that and type in your text. Same thing for the uh, layer underneath, it says master pack, you can change that as well. To change any of these colors in the background that are sort of animating here, you can uh, select any of these shape layers, uh, go up to the top uh, to see its fill color options and you can change the colors right here. Now we have two title scenes, we have this main intro and then we have another one where it says uh, 20 easy to customize. You can double click on that one and open that up. And our text layers are in here as well. There we go. And you can change the colors of any of these shape layers also. Now we have uh, a few of these background patterns and wipes. Those are used throughout the project and you can change those colors uh, just by selecting the layer, it's, those are actually shape layers. If you select any of these shape layers, they have a little star icon next to them. Uh, you can go up to the top of your uh, After Effects and click on the fill color and you can change the color there. Also note that the, the patterns also have a fill effect applied to them. You can change the colors of those if you like as well. So one more thing I'd like to show you, um, and this is true for all of our scenes. Uh, let's open the exploded concentric circle graph render comp and I'll uh, show you what I'm talking about here. All of our render comps have a uh, shape layer background where you can change the colors like we showed you previously and you can change uh, the color of the pattern by selecting it, going to your effects controls and see the fill color. And these layers are also uh, created with an, have an inverse mat applied that wipes that creates the wipe uh, for the end of the animation that transitions from one scene to the next. So just really quickly, if I, I wanted to show you where those are, those are in the project panel in a transition wipes folder. There are several wipes to choose from. You can just select, uh, if you want to change this wipe, select uh, your new wipe, go to your timeline, select the old wipes, the wipes you want to uh, replace. If you hold down command while, while clicking the other wipe layer, um, you can select them both and hold down alt or option while dragging your new wipe into the timeline and it will replace the existing wipes. And if you also like to change uh, the background pattern, that's pretty easy to do too. Just go back to your project panel and let's see, go to the elements folder, drop that down, go to the background patterns folder and you can select any of these patterns. There's uh, nine different ones. 